Hello and welcome back to another episode of ELT Cast, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.com. And in episode 124, I'd like to explore my Notion website. Whether you're a longtime follower or new to my content, this episode will give you a comprehensive overview of how everything is organized and how you can navigate the site with ease. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the structure of the website. The content is primarily divided into three main categories, blog posts, courses, and tasks or lessons. Each of these categories is packed with valuable information and resources to support your learning journey. Finding what you need on the website is straightforward. You have a couple of options. The search option at the top of the right-hand part of your screen, you'll find a search bar. Simply type in a keyword and it will bring up relevant content instantly. For those who prefer using keyboard shortcuts, you can press Control P to quickly access the search function. This is a handy trick that speeds up your navigation. Another efficient way to locate content is by visiting the index or global tags. Here you can browse through a categorized list of all the content available on the website. It's a great way to discover new posts, courses, or lessons that you might have missed otherwise. As an example, you'll see here that each of the tags listed has a, an arrow, which in most cases will provide even more detailed tags. So for example, the tag planning, if I were to click on this tag, you'll see different types of content that all are currently using this one tag. And you'll see that there are a lot of tasks listed that link to planning. And these are actual lessons. So if I click on any of these lessons, this will open up the page. Now, if you're not familiar with Notion, anytime you want to expand the page, you can simply click this icon, or you can select here to view it as a full page. But because I'm just browsing through, I can simply go back and select this and go in and out of these different pages as I would like. In this case, there are also projects that have this tag. In this case, there are also blog posts that have the same tag. So you can go through and find hopefully what you're looking for by selecting the different tags that are included in this list. Now you'll see in some cases I'm still developing certain areas so some tags will have more content than others but again this is another way that you can access the course content on this page or on this website now that you know how to find your way around let's delve into how the content is organized behind the scenes i use forte's para method which stands for projects areas resources and archives you can find more information if you do a search online this method helps keep everything structured and easily accessible. The content found on this website is loosely based on the para method and is divided into four key databases. The notes database I typically don't share on my on the main page. This is more for internal purposes, but this is where typically every idea begins. Notes can spark a new blog post, a lesson plan, or even a new course. It's the it's the brainstorming hub of the website. The task database contains tasks that are specific actions or lessons that need to be completed. These tasks are often linked to larger projects. A blog areas references database. This is where I combine different databases where blog posts, areas of focus and references are stored. It keeps all of the written content and research organized and interconnected for my workflow. References is similar to Forte's resources. Projects database. This contains databases that encompass larger initiatives that often include multiple tasks and notes and typically have dates when the project begins and ends. For example, creating a new course would be considered a project with typically various tasks and notes linked to it. My workflow in Notion is heavily reliant on these relations. Tasks such as individual lessons are linked to projects. Projects are connected to broader areas of focus and references are tied back to specific tasks or blog posts. 
but could also be linked to lessons or anything else for that matter. This relational structure ensures that everything is interconnected and easy to find. I hope this gives you a clear picture of how to navigate and understand the structure of my Notion website. I'm always looking to improve and would love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to leave feedback on my content page or wherever you found this episode. Your input is invaluable and helps me create better content for you. Thank you for tuning into this episode of ELT Cast, making English language teaching and learning more transparent. Till next time, keep learning and stay curious.